hello, this is Sakari, aka Indigenous. We're gonna make something up with Geoconnet today. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna do a beautiful geometry piece and explain what happens while I'm using Geoconnet. So this kind of a tutorial also. So let's let's begin I want to do something cool something nice something uh, round I can use this number of child bones ratio here uh, to adjust how round these shapes are so I'm gonna put it up to like 2 is nice like it gives also this vector look yeah I like that so I'm just gonna copy this bit layer copy and then I'm gonna select the new layer that I just copied as it here in the layer container on the left side so I'm gonna select this layer everything is layer in Geocone every layer has one polygonal formation you can modify and each layer has their own parameters so this layer is different than this I can modify this several like add more points here that's exactly what I'm gonna do because now I get to see a different version of the same configuration uh, on a different layer. So that that gives more insight into the uh, form I'm trying to express here. So and you can see I'm using the mod all modify all here or pressing the spacebar. Oh and yeah, you have to be focused. Uh, your keyboard has to be focused on this area if you want to use it. So this shows that your keyboard is focused. Okay, so I'm gonna press space for modify all. This means I'm gonna modify every one of these layers at the same time. So now I'm modifying this and this at the same time. And then I select the scale tool on the left. We have move, this will move the layers. Uh, we have scale, this will actually scale the uh, radius uh, parameter. So I'm saying the radius here, but I can also scale directly with this, this toolbar icon. And you can see the tooltip here, maybe. Yeah, scale, move, rotate, and zoom. This zooms the whole scene. These are layer dependent actions. This is like global zoom. Anyway. So I'm gonna get back to making this formation, so I'm gonna center this again, so I'm gonna select center layer horizontally and center vertically from the layer menu. This, this will center all of these. If I would just center this other one, this layer, then it, it would only affect that layer because now modify all is off. If I turn and modify all, I move both of these. Okay, I wanna move this this layer, so I have modified all off. And I move the layer to the center, again back, like that. And I toggle modify all with the space key. Then I can easily copy both of these layers. If I press C now, it will copy the two um, selected layers. And while doing this, it's actually just copying the two original uh, active layers because when I pressed modify all these layers were available so now both of these are kind of active so what I can do is I can um, copy and modify and repeat this pattern to create interesting things like now I just copy the two more layers and now I rotate this and let's see yeah, and, and this is now only rotating the two original layers actually, because they are only active now. The copies are just added to the scene, so I, I can I find more resonance there. I already like this, so I'm gonna save this now. So yeah, resonance geometry. So. We can also at the same time change the color of the original two. So let's do this kind of nice. And I'm using the keyboard to change the line weight. So the line weight 
can be found in the draw gap here because it's a line weight variable it means how thick are the lines uh, for the selected layers so I think and I'm using the shift key this means um, I can fine-tune the operation I'm applying with the keyboard so when I hold shift the, the lines can be adjusted more easily to their desired width and then yeah, we want to copy this again so again I press C it will copy, say, copy two layers and it has again copied two new layers so now I can but, but now the changes are at, in place so now it copied the purple version so this way we can copy multiple versions of the original idea so I'm, I'm just gonna play around see what I can find with these tools for example, yeah I'm gonna change the color a bit for these two new layers. It's so gradient effect. I just keep copying these two and scaling a bit. Up, upscale. Feeding this point, to this point, to this point. Change the color again. Let's, let's continue with the gradient. Let's do it once again. Now I can use this zoom to see better. I choose to zoom and, and zoom out so I can see more. Now I can continue, I will save at this point. Yeah. So I 
Sweet, that's nice. So I say it again. But it needs some more detail. So now I'm again copying the original to scale it down with the keyboard. And you can see it's getting. There we go. Let's put some contrast to there. And maybe increase the number of points. Like I'm using 6 and 7. This means child's number of points ratio is increased. And it really increases the number of points exponentially. Let's try rotating a bit. Maybe match this original. Maybe once more. And this is really a really nice process. Close it down. We do this geometry. You never know what you're gonna find there. It's really interesting. And uh, and white, uh, black. Oh, that's nice. You can increase the line width to make this kind of contrast effect here. Let's try blue, let's see. Yeah, that's nice. So let's copy that again and yeah, this is how it goes. Do it for like three hours. Just go. Make it maybe black. Let's see. And opacity a little bit. Yes. Some shadow effect. Yeah, it's a day of light and shadow, you know. So, you know, like something bright. Yeah, <coughs> that's it. And so on. So, I'll say this. Now we can see what looks up close. Oh, wow, that's pretty nice. I'll change the opacity a little bit. This maybe add. Actually, now I'm only changing the opacity to two layers. So what I do now is now I disable modify all. And now when I toggle it back again, now it has selected all of these 22 layers. So now I'm now I'm modifying all of these layers that I just created. So I can really go back now. That's gonna be fixed maybe in the future. I'm gonna save this a different name. Because, yeah, you never know. You might ruin it. It's easy to go overboard with things. Yeah, so you can also see things in geometry like this and of course we can change the number of points for all of this so now it's six it's a hexagon but now it's a, a pentagon and now it's like a oh sorry it's ten points 